It was all about some fast, furious fingers on keyboards and even sharper, quicker minds at the Code for Charity event held from January 9 to 11 at the Polytechnics Island Wide. Some 10,000 students, teachers and parents took on coding challenges all in the name of fun, learning and charity. Code for Charity is organised by the Infocom Development Authority of Singapore and supported by SAP Singapore. The first of its kind coding challenge not only exposed participants to coding and the ease of learning it, but also helped to raise funds for needy students. Uh, we realised that uh, students uh, of the new generation, they want to work for a cause and we felt that charity is something that will be close to the hearts of uh, young people. At the same time, we believe coding is uh, increasingly getting more and more important. So by bringing coding and uh, charity together, we think it's something that will compel the students to uh, come and play with coding, learn a bit more about coding. Even students who have no exposure to coding, uh, through this initiative can try it out. So Code for Charity provides a perfect platform uh, and we hope uh, through this uh, Code for Charity event we can inspire young people uh, to explore technology in greater detail um, and at the same time uh, we would like to lend a helping hand uh, especially to students who may be facing financial hardship at home uh, to complete their education without uh, future worries. Many participants at the Code for Charity event were new to coding. However, they were able to handle basic coding knowledge and conquer the challenges with ease. More importantly, they understood the importance of coding in today's world. Uh, I learned that uh, coding was not as simple as just typing what uh, you want the robot to do, but there's a, there's a code for it. It, uh, it makes me want to learn more about coding and learn what is the code for, the, uh, for a particular action so that um, I can do it if in the future I need to do it. Uh, with technology, we can create simulations of the problem on the computer and after solving the problem on the computer, we can use the same methods or even better methods to solve the problem in real life. Well, there are plenty of uh, opportunities and options ahead for these um, students in the technology industry. Uh, for those that's very technical and very technology oriented, they can continue to actually do great work in terms of architecting solutions for companies, develop applications and products, as well as even do their own technology startups. And for those who prefer to go to the business uh, end user environment, well, they can actually help the organizations gain competitive edge by giving them uh, the best possible solutions to help them in their business problems as well as uh, make their business even you know, more profitable and so on. There are also plans in the pipeline to expand the scope of this challenge. IDA has announced that for future instalments of Code for Charity, more participants are expected to take part in coding challenges of different forms and sizes.